Hey guys, welcome to Back Core Airsoft. So in this video, I'll be reviewing the Orga Magnus Chamber Barrel Set. So this is a wide bore barrel. So they have the 6.1 seal millimeters and a 6.23. And the one I got here right here is a 6.10. And the theory behind a wide bore is to, so you have a air cushion, a larger air cushion surrounding the BBs as it exits the barrel. So making it less air resistant and more accurate. However, you need they say you need more air to support a wide bore like this. And as the limit in Hong Kong, which is under two joules, I cannot get the, that much air as I want to, and unlike some HPA guns. So that's why I got the 6.1 instead, instead of the 6.23. And also they recommend to get the Orga uh, cylinder also. This is the one that they thin out the cylinder size in order to fill in more air. So it's supposed to work better with their wide bore barrel. But anyway, so, um, oh, and this right here is the my stock FCC chamber set. And I did took them out to a 30 meters indoor range so that I can, I did some testing between a few different FPS. And with the wide bore, you lose about 40 FPS comparing to the FCC. The FCC is a 6.04 diameter barrel. So there's some of the goods and bads with this and there's one major issue that I have and I'm going to go over that in a bit. So um, <clears throat> at the range, I tried two different cylinder. Well, at the range, I did not have this at the range, but I this one I also have an issue, so I'll talk about this later. So at the range, I have the M100 spring and the M130 spring. And the M100 with this, I was shooting about 0.8-ish joules and a M100 on the FCC, I was shooting about 1.2 joules, and the M130 with the Orga, I was shooting about 1.5-ish joules, and with the FCC, I was shooting about 1.7 to 1.8 joules. So let's get those out of the way. And um, as I'm talking about, you can see I'll show the video of the range here. <coughs> and since, well, let's get to the result first before I talk about the and best on the auger bell. So first let's compare the M100 spring. So on the left it is the FCC bell and on the right it is the auger. So you can see on M100 I don't think there's much of a difference between them so they can they both have some kind of a center grouping and a lot of flyers are on the sheet and this is a A3 size sheet by the way and the Orga they look very similar and next is the M130 and here's the result on the M130 spring as you can see the Orga does a little bit better than the FCC although they, the Orga has one little flyer over here but you can still get a, some, a hand size target on 30 meters so which is pretty decent and the FCC, you get a hand size with one or two flyers, depending on how you measure the hand. So it's not that much of a better in performance. To, and also it puts the theory of you need a more gas in order to have a better result on the white bar. And I was going to try with the M150 spring. So I was hoping to get somewhere about 1.7 or 8 joules with the auger barrel. But the problem with the FCC cylinder is that they have the, well, the one that I got here is a 3 fourth tank, so <clears throat> it's not a full tank. So, so when I'm using M130 and M150, actually I achieve the same FPS. And then <clears throat> with the Orga cylinder, now you can see this is a full tank. It does not have the old hole from like the FCC. And what I have an issue while I was trying to install the M30 spring because of the end cap here. Um, after I unscrew it and I change the spring, the end cap, the thread is smaller than the FCC, so it does not need to be completely level in order to, for me to screw on. So sometimes I'm a little bit tilt, tilted and then it can continue to screw on until it's too late and I can see the whole plate being tilted near the end. And it's almost impossible without tools for me to have a complete complete balance of the cap and the cylinder in order for me to 
screw on this property. So currently I installed back the spring that it came with and it should about one joules with the auger bell. And <clears throat> let's go over the issues that I have with this. Um, at the range, I did not notice the issue because I was, you know, I was shooting a few rounds and then I was tuning and stuff. And in the game, the hop up unit could not hold very well. So after like a mag or so, the thread here get loosened and I was getting a lot more hop than I need to. So let me see if I can demonstrate the result here. Okay, so when I has no hop, and let me try to shoot a few rounds. Okay. And I stimulate that I'm running with the gun. Fire few shot, running. Few shot. Okay, this one back. Okay, that's two mag. So let's take a look. And that is when I'm setting the hop to absolutely zero. And now you can see there's some hop coming down. So let me shoot maybe two more mags. Okay, here we go. You're winning. You're winning. See your energy. He's not gonna hit it. And you're out. One more map. Okay, you can cover fire. You're running, running, running. You're running from the enemy, you're hiding. Oh shit, someone's chasing you. You're running, running. And someone's taking the hit. Okay, and that's two Mac. So let's open it up again. And you can see there's more hop now. It's definitely more hop than before. So that's the issue that I have. So you can see like after four Macs or so, the hop went from almost nothing to about half hop. So you can see how frustrating I was when I was gaming with this <clears throat> just like two days ago. Yeah, and I had to adjust the hop after every single game and in the game, after I shoot two max, it will start to fly over the place. So um, pretty big disappointment for me for this chamber or maybe just this chamber that I have issues. I am not sure. So what I will do is I will use the FCC chamber and I will install the bell and the flat hop to the FCC chamber and see how it goes later on. And I have also ordered the um, RWA chamber with the stock system, Sistema Bell. So I'll be going, comparing them again. So this result might not be accurate as the auger chamber tends to loosen up the hop unit. But this is the FCC result with the M30. So I'm gonna do this comparing with the Sistema Bell. So this is it for the review on the Augur Menace Bell's chamber set and also the cylinder. And I will do a comparison with the cylinder or the full tank cylinder with the half tank. Maybe installing the M30 
100 spring so they will get similar power i'll be doing a comparison on them in the range next time so i'll see you guys next time